Okay, so this is going to be a video response to a video response. I had a feeling this was inevitable, something C1, because Mr. Wonka 7 or Leon has always been associated with being the video response guy. And you're the video response guy as well. You've been known as that before I have, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and, out and go on a limb here and say that since this isn't, this is the first time I've had a video response since 2007, that I'm going to be a little rusty on this one. Now, the first point you made is that you don't call yourself an anarchist because anything could be considered an archon even something that's good. And I agree with this point, that's why I called myself an anarchist from the summer of 2008 to the summer of 2010, and I've started calling myself that again instead of just an anti-status libertarian in summer of 2011. I feel like anarchism could be used in a positive mean, even though it has without in its word. Because anything could be considered anarchist so long as it's done the right way and uh, capitalism could be considered anarchist if it's done the right way and right now that would have to mean that these the private property since anarchism is the uh, I mean capitalism is a uh, social implication of private property that would have to be without the use of a state maybe they could pitch in public polycentrically and give them the rights to have private property the capitalist the entrepreneur so long as he's using it for a good purpose. And that's better than the kind of capitalism we have nowadays where it's usually wasteful and it's guys making a business where they get in go in debt. Next, I know that there's a difference between capitalism and corporatism. Because I don't see any capitalists in the NASDAQ. I see a bunch of corporations in the NASDAQ engaged in pub and it's basically public property basically because it's shareholders although right now the corporation and the corporate system we have now is fucked up why because it's like a republic it's like a state republic you have the shareholders investors the CEO, the board of directors, the president. To give you an example of a corporation that for sports entertainment, that would be the WWE. Because the WWE is in the public. Whereas a capitalist esque business, that would be like UFC, because that's private. Okay, and now for the third point, which is that minarchy isn't an upgrade from fascist statism, it's a transition point. Now I'm going to go ahead here and say that, while I do agree that it's just a transition point, that's still an upgrade to me from what we have ordinarily. I'm not going to go ahead and be black and white and say that, Because, yeah, it's bad. Minarchy is still bad, and I've said that before. I've said that last year, and I've constantly bashed minarchy. But there's a lesser of two evils, and right now, an upgrade would be a transition to the lesser. And that's what I'm going to say right there, because that's the kind of guy I am. So I approve of your video response. I don't see why I shouldn't. I mean, you've decided to take it upon yourself and make video responses to guys with similar views. That to me is 
better than most guys on the internet who they're yes men to each other just because they agree on a few points. That's that's a negative to me. I like to see disagreements among people that agree on a lot of things. Okay. So thanks a lot for the video response. And this has been Leon Red, Mr. Wonka 7, whatever the hell they call me now, and SMD.